So I got some more kitchen tech for y'all. So I gotta, let me show y'all what I had before. So I had this little small thing here. It, you know, it works good, but it just takes too long. So I wanted something bigger so I can make breakfast for, for my family faster. So I feel like I found this for a good deal. If you try to get this from like a store like Walmart, you may pay like close to $30. I did find this on Amazon for somewhere around $23, $25. I'll put a link down in the description box for you. So as you expect, it's not much inside at all, y'all. Just the quick start guide and the user guide. And a measuring cup that I'm gonna try to use in this video. It says that it has seven shades. This first slot being the lightest color, if you're going by color, and then the mats being the darkest color, which I don't know who would want some dark, dark skin waffles. I'm gonna keep mine like close to three, I don't know, maybe four. I don't know, we'll try three and then if it's too light, I'll go to four. So this does look kind of small on my camera, but I give you my hand comparison. I'm a big guy, so yeah, that'd be a big, pretty good size waffle right there. And it has a lock bill, so once you close it, you have to lift this lever here to open it again. And I'm assuming once we plug it up, the power will come on and once we load in the batter, it'll go to green or blue. Can't tell which, this color, which color that is. I, I believe it's green, we'll see in a second. But it'll go to this ready color once the waffle is ready to be taken out. And for easier storage, you can kind of wrap the power cord around here. I wish I had a deal where you kind of like, you know, like locking in place but it kind of like just leaves it hanging it's really not that big of a deal but it's just something that i wish they had so it doesn't just go all over the place but it kind of stays in place it doesn't come or loose but yeah another reason i got this because it's easy to store and it does say this is non-stick but y'all let's be real if you want the easiest process to making a waffle you got to put a little oil or something so you can just kind of slide it out i'm sure if i don't use oil It'll slide out fine, but I'm gonna have to like use a fork or something to scrape it out. And then that's just gonna stretch the non-stick surface. So I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna put some oil just to make things easier for me. And I don't know if y'all can see it, but this measuring cup goes to one fourth, one third, one half, and then two third. This is half a cup. It looks kind of like a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. Yeah, I should've went with the full thing, y'all, cause I don't think that's gonna do the job, so let me put a little bit more. All right. I'm trying to make sure it spreads evenly so we get a good idea on how it cooks. All right, that looks good. It should spread once I close it. All right, got on number three, the third shade. I'm gonna clean up a little bit while we wait for it to cook. All right. So we're good to go. The ready status light just came on. I can see a little of an overflow on the edge here. We'll see when we open it. But I, I don't blame that on the machine. I blame that on myself. I kind of pour too much. So you gotta keep that in mind. I saw a lot of reviews on Amazon showing pictures of it overflowing, but you gotta keep in mind, you gotta measure it right. All right kind of stuck but it still looks good y'all yeah I like how um you can kind of just take the edges off still hot y'all but I like this color I like this color it's the color I'm going for even if it overflows a little bit we can just take the SS off we don't need any tools any knives forks or anything we can just take it off by hand that was will a full two thirds, and I saw on the other side it goes by ounces. So two thirds equals to about five ounces. So I'm gonna bring it down since we got some overflow. I'm gonna bring it down to half a cup. Okay, this is with half a cup or four ounces if you want to go by ounces. I know it looks like it doesn't feel, but I'm assuming once I close the lid, it'll spread out some more. All right, so. Hopefully I'm right, but let's find out. Ah, yeah. yeah, so it's what I thought. It didn't really fill the holes. So let's try one more time, one more time, y'all. 
And then I'm just going to up the shade to shade number four just to give y'all a better idea how the shades work. I did like how that one came out easier. So the oil does seem to help. But this time I'm doing a full cup, which was, what was it y'all? Two thirds or five ounces if you going by ounces. But this is all the batter I have left. So this time I'm kind of going to help it spread out. Uh, it may have some gaps in it, but it'll be all right, y'all. Waffle is a waffle, huh? All right, let's put it to four. All right, so last and third waffle on the fourth setting. Let's see how this one looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know, y'all. Uh, well, nah, I was about to lie. I was about to say I kind of like this fourth setting, but I like my waffles more than softer side this made it a little bit more crispier so i guess three would be on the border between crispy and soft two and below would be like extremely soft and then four would be crispy or soft and crispy five would be probably extra crispy and you know the max is going to be a freaking <laughs> toast at that point i do have to say i love the cup because Measuring the waffle is a, is, a, is a struggle for me, so I love the cup. So with the cup, if we fill it up, we should get a pretty good sized waffle with no overflow. If you put more than a cup, like I kind of did on the first one, we will get some overflow. All right, y'all, I'm about to have my family try this out. But that's all I got for you. Much love to each and every one of you. Let me just taste it real quick. Let me just taste it. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out, I'm out.